we have the variable costs than the fixed costs. So a flexible budget might look something like this. We want to be able to break out the uh, sales by unit, and then we want to be able to break out the variable costs by unit. So we're going to say they're variable, and therefore they're going to have a constant change with the number of units. That's going to be the point. That's what's going to make it uh, flexible. That's what makes it flex, the budget be able to flex. And that'll give us the total variable costs, which is going to be the 4.8 if we add up all the variable costs here, variable costs per unit, should say. And then the contribution margin per unit is 5.2. So, and that's going to be the, the 10 minus the 4.8 contribution margin per unit. The fixed costs then will be fixed. These will not change as the level of production goes up. And therefore, if, if we then take a look at different production levels, starting off with the one that we budgeted based on, uh, the 10,000, we can take our sales of 10,000, multiply our sales of $10 per unit times 10,000 units. So $10 times 10,000, that gives us 100,000. Of course, the one times the, the 10,000 gives us 10,000. The 1.5 times 10,000 gives us the 15,000. The two times the 10,000 gives us the 2,000 or 0.2. The 0.3 times the 10,000 gives us the 3,000. 